Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hey girlies. So as you can see, we are in the car right now. We're about to do a little faded uh, story time session. I don't want to title this video like Hotbox or Schmirk with me because it's just going to end up getting flagged and you guys are not going to be able to see it because it's not going to get sent out to the subscriptions. So we're going to actually be telling a story time today. So that's why the video was titled the way that it was. You guys know I'm all about the theatrics. But in one of my recent videos, I did a story time and I told you guys about the celebrity sugar daddy situation. And after I told that story, I started going off on a tangent and I started like talking about this other story. But I only told you guys like a very small part of it. And I asked you like, do you guys want like the full story? And everybody said yes. I asked you guys on all the socials and everyone was like, yes, tell us the rest of the story. We want to know. Okay, so let's go ahead ahead and get into the ganj so i recently went to san diego and i went to this dispo called Mad Men. everyone's telling me that like oh my god it's like the most expensive one why did you go there girl i just picked a random one on the way home i just wanted to pick up real quick but we're going to be using some maven genetics this is a sativa and this is in blueberry skittles almost 32 percent half of the bud that i get here in nevada is always like 17 percent like the highest you can get is like 26 27 and it'll be 65 dollars for an eighth but i went here and tell me why they were like $40, $50, and they're like almost 40%. Maybe that's why half of y'all in California are freaking crackheads and y'all don't know how to act. The levels are too high. <laughs> I didn't bring a grinder either. I usually just use my fingers anyways because my grinder is so freaking sticky. We have a little piece. I actually got this from Timu, bitch. <laughs> like I had all these like credits and I was like, you know what? Let me like, let me try. Like, do they really sell everything on there? And girl, they have bubblers, they have pieces, they have like bongs, like they have everything. So we might actually just like smoke the rest of this eighth because I think I only have like two grams in here. So we'll see. They're lighter. We don't have a cute one today. Usually when I film these videos, I have like a cute one from like Barcelona. Or, but no, I just like found this under my couch. It's been under there for like a year. So, okay. Well, girl, I didn't even pack the bong yet. <laughs> After I smoke, I'm going to take a nap and then I'm going to go take the car to get cleaned. But I also need an oil change. My girl, I'm so weird when it comes to like my possessions. Like I don't like to leave them places. And I remember I saw like a TikTok of some guy I, like he was a mechanic and he drives around the customers cars so that's why i haven't taken it because i just don't want them to try to drive it around why am i acting like i have a bugatti girl they, they don't care about your little station wagon <laughs> okay let's hit this i guess who i'm linking up with in like a week destiny miss a life being dust so fucking excited i love her energy i love her videos i love her so i'm excited to like shout out to you girl if you're watching this hey um i'm excited to you know finally meet her in person but we're gonna film some content for you guys film some videos i think she has a podcast as well i'm not sure if um we're gonna shoot something for it but yeah I'm excited. I've been wanting to link up with her for the longest time, but literally as we were about to like plan our collaboration, I ended up pregnant. I'm going out to LA and I'm gonna stay with my friend Steven and we'll see what I get into. Of course, I'm gonna vlog. Like, oh my God, like I used to always stay at Steven's house. Like the last time I did that was 2018. <laughs> like I used to always stay at his house. He'd be like, why are you getting a hotel? Like I would get one sometimes, but he'd be like, why are you getting a hotel? Like you could just stay with me. So I would just stay at his and we would get into so much stuff every single time i went to la and i came home unintentionally i came home with a story time because something always happened i was also a lot younger so i'm not like going into like the mindset of like oh, i hope something pops off because like bitch i'm 26 years old like ew <laughs> like i am not like on that wave where it's like oh my god like let's see what i get into but like let's see what i get into fun positivity i'm not trying to like being a mess obviously oh my god so what happened the last time i don't know if i told you guys the story about the friend who i found out that she was talking shit about me so i stopped you know talking to her and when i was in la the last time um called me saying that all this stuff happened to her but it turns out that that didn't really happen because somebody recorded her and like showed what really happened which how convenient and they sent it to me like i don't like i don't even know why i was like like why I was sent that. Like I really don't know. Because I didn't ask for it or search for it. But the person exposed her and sent it to me. Um, and yeah, it was just like a huge mess. Bitch, for people to be lying and like doing the most to try to have me in their life, like I must be the golden goose. 
<laughs> Joy must be the golden goose. Okay, sorry, I'm like rambling so much. I mean, I'm smoking and chilling. Like, I mean, what did you expect? I also asked you guys, like, do you want hour long videos? And everyone literally said, like, girl, I could listen to you talk for two hours. Please give us longer videos, like, more than 30 minutes. Anthony always tells me that I leave the lighter on for too long. He's like, you need to just go, like, and, like, that's it. And he says, I'm like inhaling butane. Oh, you bitch, whatever. It tastes fucking good. It as I'm like inhaling, my lips are like, girl. Speaking of lips. Ah, uh, pig lips. Okay, bitch. Goodbye. Why do I want to get lip filler? Like, by the way, if you're new here, my lips are real. Um, But like, why do I want to get lip filler to like give more of like an out there effect? Because like my top lip, I feel like I have the shape, but I don't have as much volume as my bottom one. Okay, so let me just start with this damn story. So this is the story that I've been like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like looking at my boobs. <laughs> like when Kylie used to post those pictures, like, <laughs> which is not even funny. Like somebody commented on my last video saying, okay, Kaylee Jenner, like Kaylee. Who the fuck is Kaylee? <laughs> okay, so on to my story that I've been so scared to tell because I'm gonna just be very careful with my words. That's how I won't get caught up. Do I have gas in my car to be sitting here like this? Never have gas in my car, bitch. Anthony has to go to the gas station. I just cannot go to the gas station. I let my car get to the point where like, I will have, oh, like your range is 10 miles. I won't let it get down to like two, but it'll get down to like 10 and that's still not good. Have you seen my story times? Have you seen what happened to me like, when I go to gas stations, every time I go to a gas station, men are weird, so it's not like they're like trying to offer to like help me like pump my gas or anything. It's just them like being weird of like, hey, like you want to come with me? Like they're trying to like literally, that's happened several times where like men have asked me to like get in their car. Like, do I give like the vibe? Do I give the vibe? But why has that happened like several times to me? <gasps> Whose dog? Oh, bitch, I thought someone's dog was on the loose. They just have their dog off the leash. That's illegal. HOA? The amount of times that my neighbors have called HOA on me because I turned on my pool waterfall and I had no idea that I had a leak. Like they could have just told me, hey neighbor, you have a leak. They didn't do that. They just reported me to the HOA. So guess what happened to them, bitch? Somebody else reported them and they had to cut all their trees down that they were fighting like with the courts. Literally the people that sold me the house were like, the people that live behind you with the trees that are blocking your view of the strip and everything because i live in las vegas well technically i live on like the outside of it but it's right there and if the trees were gone you would have a full strip view airport view like you could see everything from the balcony so the people that lived here tried to take them to court to have them cut the trees down because they would appreciate their house by a ton um but they never won they kept losing so the HOA ended up like getting so many complaints by I don't know who, it wasn't me, and they got forced to cut their trees down. Guess whose house went up in value? Mine. And guess whose waterfall is still fucking broken? Mine. Okay, let me go through my Snapchat memories so I could get these timestamps correct because I have very specific stories that will make things out of. No way I was only 20 years old. No way. Oh my god, look at my outfit that night. I was only 20. But here's the photo of me from like that night. Can you even, can it focus? Here, focus on my phone, not my face. But look at me. I had on this like fishnet type of situation shirt, like off the shoulder, a, a leather skirt, my damn bandana, bitch, look at me. Why does my arm look like, <laughs> why does it look like an actual like piece of like chicken? Like if you like cover it up like that, like it looks like an actual piece of chicken. Wow. Am I just hungry? So this story starts with me hanging out with one of my girlfriends and you know, we were just hanging out at her house and we got invited to go to a club. I can't remember what club it was if I'm gonna be honest. That one that was in the background of that photo you just saw, no idea what club that was. <laughs> So, you know, we're just hanging out, dancing, having some drinks or whatever. I think we were there for maybe like 30 minutes and we left. Like, it did not last long at all. I don't know if it was our attention span or what, but like, that's how me and my friends were back in the day. We would pull up somewhere, be there for like 20 minutes, and then leave, move on to the next location. I don't know why we were like that. Wasted so much money in Ubers because 
why did we not just stay in one location? But yeah, we stayed there for like maybe 30 minutes, went back to her apartment, and then after not even that long, we're right out the door again because this guy that she was talking to told us, come downstairs, like, we're gonna dip out. So at this point, I probably smoked like two blunts and I had like several drinks in me, so I'm just like in the back seat, just kind of like, ooh, like just vibing, having a good time, not paying attention, and then I look up from my phone and I notice we're at Wendy's all of a sudden. I'm like, okay, I, this is what we're getting into. Woo, we're at Wendy. <laughs> He's like, girl, don't get me wrong, I love a good frosty, but okay, I guess is that this is what we're getting into. <laughs> so then I notice a Bentley pull up to the side of us and I'm like, Ooh, that's a very nice car. Like, that's so cute. I'm not really paying attention to, to you know, whoever's like driving it because, you know, I'm looking at the car. Uh, the person gets out of the car, comes up to the window, and I'm like, this person looks familiar. Like, they look familiar, but I'm not sure. Like, I don't know. Like, oh, like, what do you guys want to do right now? And then the person driving was like, hey, do you want to go to Blank Blank's house? And when I heard that, I was like, that sounds like the nickname that they call this R&B slash rapper that I've been listening to since I was a little girl. Like, like, don't get me wrong, I am not a fan of this person. So I'm not saying anything, I'm just sitting there like thinking to myself like, okay, let's see what happens because there's no way that first we go and we get into this club that I'm not supposed to be in because how old did I say I was a little while ago? I was not supposed to be in there. Who's calling me? Girl, bye. I don't have time for that. So my tipsy ass is like, who was that? Like, why does that person look so familiar? Like, who was that? And my friend is like, oh, that was blah, 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 son. Um, and then it kind of like clicks in my head. I'm like, oh, he's dating this other girl. She's like an Instagram model. She's super pretty. Um, but I'm like, oh, okay. Like I've seen photos of them. Like they've done some really cute, like matchy outfit type things a couple times. And you know, it like kind of went viral. So it's super cute. Um, so that's why I got so like grossed out when what happened later on You know in the story so we're driving and we're driving for a while like you've been in the car for maybe like 45 minutes So I'm like where the hell are we going because we were in kind of like the middle of Hollywood And we're on the highway then we're getting off the highway and we're going up these random hills And then we're going up like a dirt path and like there's all this like broken stuff all over the place. I'm like, where the hell are we going? And then all of a sudden there's a house. And then some scary ass security comes up to the car and like, what the hell are you guys doing here? Who is this? You know, put the window down and they're like, oh, hi. And like, you know, to the person driving. Because I guess, you know, they knew each other. So we go into, you know, the lot and there's just all these like nice ass like Lambos and Ferraris and just all these random nice cars. Keep in mind, it's like one or two in the morning. I'll tell you, I literally just like chuckled. Like I chuckled and I'm pretty sure he heard and maybe that's why he maybe he heard me chuckle and that's why he was like kind of rude to me No, so like the door swings open and this man is standing in front of me and <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help but laugh for some reason because it was just so fucking random Like I'm not gonna get excited over somebody's son like I don't care that oh Blah 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 son stuck his head in the window like I'm not gonna be like oh my god like uh like, I am not starstruck. You did not do anything significant for me to be starstruck about. Like, but that's cool that that's your dad. Cool. But this person was actually, like, one of my childhood, like, favorite, favorite artists. And I, I'll admit, they have some bops. I'm not really a big fan of them now. I'm a fan of their art, but I'm not a fan of the artist, I guess you could say. This man is just standing in front of me, and I'm just like, wow, this is the most random shit that I have probably ever gotten into. And I've been in a lot of very random situations, but I was not expecting this at all. When I went to the club, we weren't told that we were going to see ASAP Ferg. We were just like, oh, like, we're going to go to the club and just be on the stage but like oh here comes asap ferg and he's performing in front of us and then there's all these other people from like love and hip-hop and just random celebrity influencers and just random people like start showing up and you know we're just mingling and having a good time so we didn't expect that at all and then what was happening now i wasn't expecting that at all either obviously so we're told that we have to put our phones in our bag and that we can't pull our phones out at all i'll put my phone in my bag out of respect so we go in this person's house and it's cute, you know. Um, they're an artist, so they have a studio in their house and that's where we like mainly hung out. So we went over there. And see, I'm not the kind of person that like, I'm not gonna say, I have a lot of stories. Let me just say that. Like I've hung out with a lot of people that are like considered famous or whatever, but I'm not gonna sit here and like tell all these stories because that's weird. Like I'm not gonna like be the kind of person that like hangs out with someone and them i don't want them to like think like oh this may turn into a story one day like no he was disrespectful to me 
so I do not care. So I don't want anyone to get it twisted or think I'm a groupie or something because I do not seek these people. I do not try to like chase celebrities. I do not get excited by celebrities. I just get shocked. Like if somebody was disrespectful, I do not care. Like one time I was eating chicken wings with my friend on Melrose and I hear somebody screaming like saying all these disrespectful things to other people and I turn to my right and I see Lil Xan standing on top of a G-Wagon jumping up and down stomping and screaming at people on the road. Yeah. Celebrities are weird. Like, you walk into the studio, it's really nice in there, it's really cool. Like I don't I can't say the design of the studio because if I'm like it's so specific. And we walk in and we sit down, there's like bean bags everywhere, just like comfortable stuff to sit on. And that's when my friend is like, you know, sitting in the corner with this guy and just you know the like, cuddling and talking, or whatever, and then the son of billionaire whatever famous guy comes next to me and starts trying to like you know be touchy on me he doesn't even like ask my name he doesn't try to get to know me or try to talk to me he just immediately starts trying to like touch up on me and i make it very clear that i'm not like into it i'm just you know moving away just kind of like no <laughs> like don't um so he stops um tries again but stops again and that was that uh, but I am not that girl. I am not the kind of girl who is going to Just because you're a celebrity or because you're rich It's okay that you have a girlfriend like no like that's so disrespectful I've been cheated on before and it really really hurts. It's one of the worst like pains ever um, And I I'm not gonna partake in your circus because I'm sure that he probably cheats on this girl all the time because like I said he didn't try to ask me my name he didn't try to get to know me or try to you know you know woo me he didn't say anything he just immediately tried to go straight into it because he's probably used to like girls just giving in and to, like you know being okay with it but no but I was just so grossed out that he was trying to you know like do all that and he has a girlfriend and she's a beautiful girl I don't know her personally but I've seen like photos of her and I've seen her on Instagram and she's just she's a beautiful girl she gives like good energy just from like her photos so because I make it evident that I'm not interested my friend is over here like kissing on this guy and like you know doing their old thing over there in the corner and I'm just sitting there by myself like uncomfortable as hell and then some dude like shows up and starts like mixing music and then he leaves comes back with like a tray and has all this stuff on it child i'm not gonna say what was on it but there was there was items on there <laughs> that I had never seen up close before in my life. I'm just sitting there like, wow, that is very disappointing. Like, I remember seeing rumors about this kind of stuff and it's like, wow, it's actually true to like, and to see it in front of me. And like, why are you doing this in front of me? Like, I don't know you. So I actually end up getting offered some of it and I say no because no, I am not interested. Um, and then they bring out, you know, the goods, the ganj. I'm like, oh, you want to smoke some of this? So if, I'm like, okay, I'm cool with that. So they start passing around the piece. And when I hit it, it did not taste like weed. It did not taste like weed at all. It tasted like something else. And I got so dizzy. It made my head hurt. It was just, I don't know, it was weird. He asked everybody in the group what they wanted to drink. And everybody was like, oh, like, oh you want water? And then when I said water, he was like, I don't know water like mocked me everybody in the room is you know doing different things that like i said i don't participate in and then the artist is like oh do you guys want to listen to my new music and like i said it was like one in the morning and they start playing their music and i kid you not like i don't even i don't know if i like spaced out or like what happened because i thought we smoked weed but like I feel like just so much time passed so fast, like scary. I don't know how many songs this artist played, like I don't know how many, but we were sitting there and it felt like time just kind of like jumped. And all of a sudden it's 4 a.m. because I have a video from when we were like at the house because you could see all the fires because this is when there was like a big fire going on in the hills and you could see it in the video. Like you could see all the like 
fires and stuff and this was at about 4 a.m in the morning and the son of the famous guy that was trying to flirt with me now he's like talking to the artist and they're kind of like looking at me and kind of like chuckling so i just feel really uncomfortable so she agrees that we could leave in a little bit so i'm just sitting there waiting and the one of the producers that helps the guy with his music the artist he brings out more stuff and it's like like i just needed to get out of there because like i just i don't feel comfortable being in the same space as like hard hard substances i'm sorry like i it's not no i stand up so i can go and wait by the door for my friend because i don't want to just sit there and like listen to these people like chuckle at me and like look at me because i like i just don't want to deal with it i have anxiety so i get up to go over there and he's like what are you doing like in the most like scary like stern voice just like what are you doing and like scared the shit out of me because like i said it's quiet in there like they're just talking amongst themselves they're talking amongst themselves like nothing else so I'm just like, oh, I'm just waiting for my friend. And my friend gets up and is like, okay, like, let's leave. Like, let's just go now. He's just trying to be, like, polite or whatever. I'm like, oh, thanks for having us over. And the artist is like, oh, thanks for having us over. <laughs> he's, like, mocking me once again. And him and the son are, like, laughing. Like, really? This man, like, keep in mind, I was only 20 years old when this happened. And this man is probably, like... 30 something at this point i really don't know why he targeted me out of the group because he was being nice to like everybody else and there was like a girl there too i don't know who she was like just this really pretty girl she was there um sitting in the corner and like everyone he was talking to everyone being nice but he was just mocking me and just being rude to me for no reason so i don't I don't know. I told you guys in that other story time that I've always usually had like good interactions with like, you know, like the rapper guys or whatever. And I do. Um, it was always producers that were weird. But this was like the one like rapper slash R&B artist, I guess, that was like actually like really disrespectful for no reason. And just like made you feel unwelcomed in their home. I'm sure some people in the comments are going to try to guess who it is and who I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, they're a very, very big international, internationally, worldwide, famous R&B slash rapper artist that they've been in the industry since like what? I don't know, like the early 2000s? Like no bitch, I'm not a groupie, so I'm not out here like seeking these people or like trying to like hang out with like celebrities or famous people. I only hang out with these people when they hit me up, when they're in my DMs. Um, well, this was the past obviously like i have a whole man i have a fiance like i'm getting married which i can't wait to film those videos for you guys like trying on dresses my camera's gonna end up dying and we're gonna have to switch to my phone but that's okay i mean i have batteries in the house why did i not bring my extra battery with me i was thinking about it too like, I bring it but goodness for this iphone having like a little cinematic um setting I hear him mock me as i'm like exiting the studio and i turn around and my friend is like just go just keep going i'm like no but like for real like why is he just being rude and he starts laughing and we walk out the fact that i was so uncomfortable that i got an uber and i didn't want to go back with my friend like i wasn't mad at her or anything for like you know taking me there because like she didn't even know we were gonna end up there and i'm pretty sure my ass cried in the uber too like i was so sad like i was so sad that i had such a bad experience and it could have been such a good like fun night like we could have just all listened to his music together and just danced and like had a good time and vibed but all this man wanted to do was smoke and other things and i'm over here getting grabbed on when i don't want to be grabbed on because this guy thinks he's entitled to my body because he has money and um it's just it's just like what the hell so and if anybody thinks that i'm being dramatic like you must not be a woman that has been made uncomfortable by several men in a room that you feel trapped in because it is not a good feeling and especially when these men have a lot of money and it's scary like it's intimidating if you haven't been in the situation then you haven't been in the situation you don't get it but just how can I put it? Um, just let me just say that I know girls that have, you know, spoken up and they've been assaulted, like straight up, like hit, smacked, like by these like guys, and they won't press charges against them because they're scared. 
um, or the guys will, you know, the next day give them literally like $15,000 or like $20,000 and the girls will just be quiet. But a lot of these men in the industry are just like really freaking disrespectful and they do not care. Um, they just simply do not care who you are at all. <laughs> like they will, they don't care. Like money puts this like shield in front of these people. Because like I said, like if you get smacked by somebody, like obviously you're gonna wanna go to the police, but if they put $20,000 in a Chanel bag in front of you, most people are just gonna be like, okay, it's it's fine. The way he was looking at me every time we accidentally made eye contact, cause like, I don't know, when people are talking or when I look at people, I look at them in their face and I look at their eyes. Like I am not doing it to like try to like woo you or like try to, like, I don't know what he thought I was trying to do, but like I was literally just looking at him and every time we'd accidentally make eye contact, this was maybe like three or four times, he would look at me like, or like, like he gave me like a dirty look, like he was disgusted by me. So uh, I, girl, I low-key want to just like say who it is. Like I low-key just want to say who it is. And like the cheating ass like boyfriend, like I want to say who that is too. I wonder how many people clicked on this video thinking like, oh, it's just going to be like a regular story time. And like, oh, it's a smoke with me. <laughs> My neighbor's just sitting in his car right there. And then my neighbors to my left are getting pest control. So there's a guy just like going all over the yard spraying. Hi. Speaking of yards, um, I'm getting turf put in my front yard and bitch, it's fucking expensive. So tell me why, oh my God, I don't know if it's just Vegas. I hate being an adult. <laughs> I just had somebody come and give me a quote for a new air conditioning unit and like a new furnace or whatever and tell me why it was twenty thousand dollars they said so i'm over here like oh my god is that like the only option and the guy's like yeah it's because of like the economy and all materials have gone up by like 30 or 40 percent so like that's normal i mean you're not gonna find better anywhere else and we found these people because bitch we were we have a costco membership so when you're leaving costco bitch there's all these like companies on the left side and it's like oh like air conditioning free estimates and then or you can get roofing or um you know pet insurance we're like oh it must be trustworthy because why would costco like back this company and we look them up on yelp we have great reviews assume that they're good and like they said they're like oh it's twenty thousand dollars or if you want like the low end cheap one it's still gonna be like fifteen sixteen thousand dollars which fucking money like what the fuck so i'm like about to sign all this stuff and anthony like sneaks away and he goes upstairs and he calls his like grandpa and he's like is this normal and his grandpa's like what the fuck like no <laughs> So I'm like, okay, we got to pay for the air conditioning. We're doing the turf and the turf. We had several like people come and give us quotes. And one of the quotes was like $8,000. But then we had another company come and they all had like really, really good reviews. But it was just a matter of, you know, like whichever one we went with. And then we, you know, get another quote. And this company's like, oh, we could do it for $4,000. So of course we're going to go with that one. My friend just said, not Chromas unfollowing you. <gasps> Why does she unfollow me? I'm literally pro bitch. I'm probably the only fucking American that like talks about you. <laughs> I'm kidding. Not to sponsor my freaking AC, but like I'm actually dropping merch. There's going to be mugs, notebooks, stickers, hoodies, sweatshirts, t-shirts. Um, some of you guys asked me to bring back the OG I am hoodie that says like, I am strong, wise, like beautiful. Like, you know, that hoodie from a couple years ago with like the burning rose on the front. I brought it back. So that's going to be on there as well. So you can get that. You like see the prices and you're like, oh, like $40 is a lot for a hoodie. It's embroidered. Like it's actually like embroidered. And then there's like a screen printed like design that I paid somebody to do like on the back of the hoodie. So it's like actually worth the money and some of the hoodies are gonna be like made with champion so if you don't know like that's a really really like nice heavy blend it's really good quality you don't have to worry about it shrinking like it's like some of the best like you know comfortable loungewear 
and sweatshirts and stuff so those are gonna be like fifty dollars but i'm gonna have to charge them for that because i'm spending like thirty dollars just to get the hoodie for you like i told you guys it's gonna run from extra small to uh, 5x um some of the items i think i was only able to get up to 3x so some stuff may not get up to 5x so i apologize for that but i'm trying to make everything you know as inclusive as possible but of course i do have my oh sweetie shop.com i'll have it linked in the description um i am wearing some of my lashes today these are like the cat eye style that i carry these are called the honey lash only ten dollars you can wear them about 30 times we're talking about celebrities let's talk about some celebrity tea oh motherfucking selena powell let me take this bong rip first <laughs> Let me just leave you with that. Selena Powell. <laughs> Not Summer Walker in Lil Meech or whatever, you know, trying to be happy and cute. And here comes Selena Powell. Oh my god, like me and my friends. <coughs> we have like the holy trinity of like celebrities that we follow. Not because we're like fans of them and what they do, but just because... They just are always doing some shit that's just funny or, you know, like Selena, for example. Nobody follows her because we're like, oh my God, I love her and what she's about and what she does. Let's be realistic. Like, <coughs> <laughs> but not Summer Walker trying to be happy with her man and Selena thinks it's a good idea to post a tape of her in the bathroom, which oh my gosh girl like not the public bathroom like, like not you all up on this dirty ass toilet like i could never like every time i hate having to go to the bathroom in public like i hate having to be in the bathroom and breathe in that air have you not seen the tiktoks of like somebody tested the freaking air and there's so much bacteria and so much like there's dookie flakes in the air like girl i am really not trying to like she did not pull up two feet just to get right back out again. I love that for her. She's really like not gonna take any extra steps. Like that is a full on like grown ass man, like wearing grown ass man clothes. Like, I don't know why I kept saying woman. <laughs> also on the Nessa shop, I'm gonna have a tab called um, Nessa's Closet and I'm gonna be selling some of my luxury goods that I don't want anymore or that, you know, I just have in my room because as you guys can see in the background of my videos, when I do get ready with me, I have all those bags. Like I have all these Louis bags, Gucci bags, Burberry. Like I just have all these random bags, bitch, that are authentic, of course. And I haven't worn them in years and they're just sitting there. And some of them, of course, I'm keeping for Nyla when she's older. Um, but some of them, they I just don't have any care to keep them anymore. So I'm gonna have them on there. So instead of like putting it on Poshmark and like dealing with it on there, I'm just gonna put it on the Nessa shop. I can't, there's always a Selena trending on Twitter. Like Selena literally like yesterday, like she was trending for that. And Selena Gomez was trending because somebody made a um, AI recreation of her at the Met Gala and everybody thought it was real. I even thought it was real. So like both Selena's were trending and one for a cute reason, one for not. Cause like, I really did not have to see the video on Twitter. I hate that you could post anything on Twitter. Like I don't use Twitter for, that's one of the reasons why I don't because like bitch, I did OF, like trust me, like I did it. So I support like SWs, I support them. But I never like posted any of my content on Twitter. I kept it on my OF. So I really just don't want to scroll and see one of my friends like busted wide open. Like, let me be real. Like, I really don't want to scroll and see like somebody that I admire. You know what I'm saying. Like, I, I just. I don't want to see them in a compromised position. <laughs> I don't want to have to like mute my friends because it's like, what's the point of following someone if you're just muting all their shit? So like, I don't even know. <laughs> Girl, I don't know. That's why I don't use Twitter. How much have I smoked? I don't know. These bowls are like really small. So I feel like one bowl is equivalent to like half of a normal one. So technically I've taken like two and a half bowls. <laughs> like I'm trying to convince myself. You guys, I'm going to Europe for a month. I'm so excited. The 
plan is to have a family member come and stay at the house so it doesn't just like sit. But I am gonna be boarding my dogs. <coughs> I'm really excited. We're gonna fly into the UK because the airline that we're using, because as you guys saw, or if you didn't, maybe you weren't around at this time, but when I found out I was pregnant, well, not when I found out, but when I was having symptoms of being pregnant when I was in Italy, I had no idea I was pregnant. I ended up losing half of our, because I got so sick, you guys, I was so fucking sick, like, so fucking sick. And I got so much misinformation from so many people that, like, not talking about, like, the internet. Because obviously, like, I asked people on the internet, like, what should I do? But I actually, like, called the hospital and, you know, was calling, you know, my insurance. I called Expedia. I was calling everybody. And I got so much false information um, about saying that I would have to pay, like, all this money if I went to the hospital. So I got scared and I didn't want to go to the hospital, but I felt so sick. Like, I actually felt like I was dying. And that's how i felt with nyla like before i realized i was pregnant like before i took the test i felt like i was literally dying like that was my sign that oh you're pregnant <laughs> like that's sad like it literally feels like you're like rotting yeah like i just felt so sick so i was like we have to go home if it's gonna cost so much money I so my particular private insurance is not accepted everywhere so if i were to end up in a hospital that it's not covered in or whatever blah 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 i needed a certain procedure that's not covered for whatever reason i could end up with a bill of like tens of hundreds of thousands you know but overseas apparently you know you can get sick and it could be a bill of like 300 bucks and like you're out the door with some medication and i did not know that like i was you know under the impression and being told that i'm gonna have to pay thousands of dollars and we ended up getting our like flight money back and it went into like a travel bank and we used all the travel bank to get our tickets to go to london so that's why we had to like fly through london so we could use that airline. Then we're gonna fly a couple days later to Spain. But yeah, I'm really excited for that. That's gonna be a lot of fun. And of course, there's gonna be a ton of content from vlogs to trying McDonald's in Spain, trying McDonald's in Italy, trying McDonald's in France, trying McDonald's in the UK, trying Taco Bell. <laughs> a lot of different content, like just random things. Let's go ahead and turn the car off. Girl, I've been in here for a while. When I watch a lot of people's like smoke with me, it's like they just talk for like a little tiny bit and they bounce. And I feel like that's how my um old ones were. But I want to like actually like like we're like actually hanging out and smoking together. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you're new here, I hope you subscribe and you know check out future videos from me as well. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys to follow me on Instagram. You can if you want at SimplyDoss15, but I post maybe once a month on there if I'm going to be honest with you. My main platform is now TikTok and here. So if you want to check me out on there, NessaBriella underscore. I'm going to take this back inside. But yeah, girl, I've been in here for like an hour, like an hour and a half, maybe almost two freaking hours. I need to go in the house. I got kids I got to go take care of. Anthony's obviously watching them, but... Like, me and my mom guilt. Like, I feel bad for, like, making him, like, watch his own kids. Like, girl, they're his kids. They're his kids. Uh, people are asking me, like, when are you going to say your son's name? When are you going to show his face? Or are you going to just, like, keep it private? Um, I'm probably going to show him when he, or when we do the, like, the traveling vlogs. Like, when he's, like, three months, you know? I'm just keeping him to myself completely right now, which I know I'm not, you know, nobody's entitled to seeing my son, obviously, because I know people are going to comment that I'm like, you don't have to show him if you don't want to, like, no one's forcing you, I'm not saying anyone is, but, you know, I'm just keeping him completely to myself, like, even family and stuff, I'm telling them, like, you can, I just cannot post pictures of him on Facebook, you cannot send photos of him to anybody or, like, send them around, like, if I send it to you, it goes to you only, I just want to keep him to myself completely right now you know i don't know maybe that that only makes sense to some people i guess but yeah so i'll probably show him when we are traveling and stuff and i'll tell you guys his name at the same time of course just how i did with nyla when i 
Oh my god, Anthony just scared the shit out of me. Oh my god, I almost had a heart attack. Oh my god, my heart. <laughs> no, it actually jumped. He's like racing to put the garbage cans because I think the trash is coming. So let me go stand in the front of the house because my right is here. That's it for today's video. I love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging out with me for I don't know how long this video is. But if it's a longer one, I hope you enjoy the longer content. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the constant uploading as well. I love this little community that we have on here. It's so nice because I was talking to my best friend about it because... A lot of my influencer friends, like I would call them acquaintances now because we really don't talk like that anymore. But a lot of them have quit YouTube because, you know, it was like a thing. I don't know why to if you don't get 100K at least on a video, like it's so embarrassing. Like you're such a flop, you're such a loser. Like you don't got at least 100K. Like I never like viewed people like that. I never like it sounds so stupid and so corny, right? So I was never like that. But a lot of, you know, my ex-influencer friends you know they stopped pulling 100k views and i mean that just kind of tells you that they were only doing it for like the ego boost of like getting 100k views only doing it for the clout i guess um but a lot of them like stopped posting because they're embarrassed because they're not getting the 100k anymore or they just think it's like not worth it anymore which i don't know why i mean i started doing youtube for a very particular reason because i didn't have a lot of friends and i had lived in a very strict household so i wasn't really allowed to do much and all i really did was work and go to school and play sports so i didn't have much of a social life outside of maybe like one or two friends and i was only allowed to hang out with one of them really so like i mean occasionally rarely so youtube was kind of like my outlet and i think that's why i've been on here for so long like this channel has been here since 2012 it's 2023 so it's been about 10 11 years um and then i had a little channel before that which i still want to do like a reacting to my like first youtube channel and like showing you guys that like those videos and stuff um, but <laughs> here he comes with another freaking can. We have a recycling can too, but yeah, I'll do like a reacting to that eventually. And I'll do more like reacting to my like old story times. Cause people liked when I did my last one, but you know, like I started doing YouTube for a reason and I think that's why I can never let it go. Like. I don't care if I don't get 100k views on a video. Like, not everybody is interested. Like, realistically, who's going to click on my She Glam video aside from people that are genuinely interested in makeup or we want to see She Glam and actually try it out or just want to watch whatever I post? Like, you know, because I have, you know, I have some YouTubers that I only watch certain content from them and then I have some YouTubers that they could post themselves throwing shoes in the air and then walking away and I'm still gonna click on it because I love their videos so much you know like I will watch anything from them so um but yeah so like a lot of people were not seeing my videos but I still kept posting and now like more of you guys are watching again so I'm gonna keep posting like it doesn't matter it's not about views for me and it's sad that it is for a lot of people because this is like something special to me you know like what we have is special and we're never gonna break up but yeah okay i'm gonna go back in my house now i need to eat also girl i wanted mcdonald's breakfast so bad this morning i came in the car and while i've been in here it closed so that's a good thing i'm gonna go in my house upload my haul video hope you guys like some of the pieces um i love everything that i got i feel so confident and so beautiful in everything it feels good to have like gotten clothes that fit properly and to feel comfortable and feel somewhat confident you know because i haven't for a while so yeah i'm gonna go out my house now i love you guys thanks for all the support and i already know you guys are gonna leave nice comments so i'm just gonna say thank you in advance but let me know what you guys are doing today yeah i'll see you guys all later in another video subscribe if you're not already leave a like so more people you know get to see this video and i'll see you all in my next one bye